In this video, I will show how to upgrade a DigitalOcean droplet. I am logged into DigitalOcean. On this project, we have two droplets. I need to upgrade the second droplet. Click on the droplet. On the top, you can see current server specification. This server has 2 GB memory, 2 Intel vCPU and 60 GB disk. To upgrade the droplet, click on resize. Here you will see the warning, you must turn off your droplet to resize it. To turn off your droplet, click on the green on toggle. Clicking it will turn off the droplet. Now the droplet is shutting down. Current status is off. Here we have two options. One is CPU and RAM only. Other is disk CPU and RAM. If you plan to downgrade the droplet in the future, use first option. The second option is permanent upgrade. The disk storage also get upgraded. Once the upgrade is done, there is no way to downgrade the droplet. In this case, I will go with the CPU and RAM only. So the disk will stay the same. The advantage is you can downgrade anytime. Currently we are using 2GB and 2V CPU plan. If you scroll down, you will see other available plans. By default, it will list all plans. If you want to only list the basic plans, click on basic. Other available plans are dedicated CPU general purpose, dedicated CPU memory optimized. Other plan is dedicated CPU storage optimized. We will go with the basic plan. It will highlight the current plan. Let's find another plan with more CPU. There is regular Intel and premium AMD and premium Intel. A regular Intel is $48 per month. A premium droplet is $56 per month. I will go with the premium AMD. So select the plan you want. You will get a warning. Resizing can take up to one minute per GB of data used by your droplet. Click on resize. If you scroll up, you will see the progress. The status is resizing the droplet. The droplet has been resized. Now you can start the droplet. For that, click on the toggle. Currently it is off. Click on it again to turn it on. The droplet is starting. Let's log into the virtual machine using the console. Click on the console. We don't have the console enabled. Let's log in with SSH. Take the terminal. The command is SSH root at the rate IP address. Let's check the memory available. Free minus M. We have now 8 GB RAM. Let's check the number of CPU cores. Cat slash PROC slash CPU info. We have four CPU cores. Processor 0, 1, 2, and 3. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.